In this tutorial, I'm going to show you to set up multiple WordPress themes on one install, meaning you have a default active theme that runs on all the pages, and you can switch out or you switch into different themes on different pages according to rules that you set. So the same visitor may be browsing through your site and see five or ten or, or two different themes as they go. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab but we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress and you wanna learn more about it, you wanna learn WordPress tips and tricks and all the cool stuff you can do with it, click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a killer discount with InMotion Hosting up to 57% off their plans. Not every plan has a big of a discount, but every plan is discounted. So if you're looking for new hosting for yourself or for a client, check out the description down below. There's a link there. I'll tell you all about how to cash in on that discount. With that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start doing some WordPress. Before you set up multiple themes on your WordPress site, the first thing you should do is back up your site files and your database because this is one of those procedures where things can go sideways really quickly. So you wanna make sure you have a solid backup. I've linked a tutorial in the card up above where you can back up your site manually and both with a plugin, two different cards to click on depending which one you want. Once you have your site backed up, we're gonna head over to plugins and click on add new. Then we're gonna search for multiple themes. There's only one plugin I've found that does this and it's called multiple themes. It has 10,000 active installs, five to five stars, updated a year ago, so that's a little sketchy but I'm currently running the latest WordPress 4.9.2 and I've confirmed that this still works on this installation, even though it's untested with it. So you should be fine. Again, that's where we do the backups. And if you want me to, I can look into a way to do this manually using the functions file or just plain JavaScript. Just leave a comment down below this video if that's something you'd be into. For now, I'm just gonna use this plugin. I'm gonna click on install now and then activate. And like I said, make sure you have a backup of your site before you do this. And once it's activated, under settings, we have a new entry called multiple themes. There's a lot of writing on this page, but really all you need to know is down below here. This is where the magic happens. So this is where we select different themes for different instances and different scenarios on the site. If you want to have, let me back up. The theme you currently have active will be for all the pages. What you're doing here is programming exceptions to that. So if you want your active theme to be for all the pages except for the home page, use this drop down to pick a different one for the home page. So I have the Divi Child theme as my active theme. I'll make 2017 the home page theme just to show you how that what that looks like. I'm just going to go out to the site for this next part because here we can enter a URL. So if they go to a specific URL on your site, they can be shown a different theme. I'm just going to get a URL. Go into the sports category copy this address, paste it in here, then choose a theme. I'm going to choose color snap. Then we have the ability to change themes based on a query in the URL. So what this means is we have a question mark followed by a variable or parameter and then a value for that parameter. In this field, we just enter the parameter. So maybe the parameter is brand. You don't have to have it equal anything. It can be as long as this is the parameter, it's going to show this specific theme. I'm going to use Toco Online. Next one, this is a keyword or a query keyword value pair. So I'm going to choose the theme, another different one, uh, Aveda. And I'm going to make this theme Aveda. So whenever this keyword value pair is in the URL, it's going to show the Aveda theme. I'm going to click on Save Changes. We're going to see what this looks like on the live site. Before we go to the live site, however, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and we have our program theme selection entries right here. We can delete them, just click on this checkbox, click on save changes that'll remove those ones. You can add more. Say you wanted theme Toko Online, theme 2017. You can program all those, you gotta do them one at a time. So you come in here, put in your keyword value pair, save changes, and do it again and again and again for as many different variations as you want. Then if we head out to the front, let's go to the home page. And this should be, not that we're able to tell probably, but this should be the 2017 theme. I can tell for that. 
So here's 2017 on the home page. Let's go to the sports category. And this should be color snap. This is the color snap for Steve. You have to take my word for it. But at least you're recognizing there's this color snap down here. You recognize it's a very different theme. If we put a parameter up here, the brand parameter, brand equals whatever we want, the number two, we see that we have a different theme. This is Toco Online. Now, if we have up here theme equals blue, it's going to go back to the Divi theme because that's our active theme. But we programmed in there to have it go to Aveda if we have theme equals Aveda. So this should now show the Aveda theme. And it does. And that is how you can have many, many different themes running on one WordPress install. One theme is activated, but you can switch out themes based on parameters that you set in this plugin. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe. Then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off or more than half off for some plans hosting offer in the description down below or on the card that popped up. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.